the uh, practice area where we're going to uh, do some uh, stalls and uh, some slips and uh, get a few video clips. And uh, before I do that, I've got to remember to turn off the electronic facility protection because if I have that on there, then during a stall it will fight the airplane. No, or very little difference uh, doing one with the gear up or the gear down, so rather than uh, working my hydraulic system, I'll just do my all, all my stalls with the gear uh, up. So first stall we're going to be doing is a straight ahead stall. Um, and as you'll be able to see, the uh, velocity and the most canards, all they do is basically uh, porpoise when they get into a stall. So I'm uh, reducing the airspeed, and I'm hoping that uh, this will come out on the video. Um, at this weight, should be right around 65 knots or so, 67 knots, give or take, uh, for it to stall. Okay, here's a picture of it outside doing a little porpoising. Getting a pretty good stall here. It's full F stick and it's really hard to keep it in the stall. It keeps wanting to recover from it. A look at it, the wing. And while we're climbing, we might as well do a departure stall. So, assuming that we're climbing out with the nose up a little bit high, you, these are things that you just want to be able to recognize. Okay, I'm pulling the thrust back. There's your dropping off of the nose, and then it'll just cover on its own. The other one is an accelerated stall, and this is to simulate. Um, being in a traffic pattern, you're at idle power, you're overshooting the runway, and you just want to yank it around. Um, never a really good thing to do. Uh, and if you do, you want to definitely recognize uh, the stall characteristics of the airplane so you know that you're about to die um, if you keep on doing it. power to idle. Um, right around uh, 80 to 90 knots. Right around 90 knots. I like to turn right around 90 to 100, but we're going to do it at 90 knots. And we're going to turn, we turn, we turn, and then all of a sudden we start yanking it. And there's the porpoising. And it's so gentle you won't even notice it that you're actually stalling the airplane. 